Okay, so before I get this video started, I just want to say it is recorded on my phone um, and it is edited out of my phone. Edited on my phone. Um, and the reason being is because like five days ago, my computer just died on me. And when I mean died, I mean like it deleted everything um, and just basically shut down on me. It does turn on. Um, but when I turn it on, it tells me, like, I don't have access to my computer. Like, not even to get on the internet, I don't have access. So, it's just, like, frustrating to me. Um, but I think it's just kaboom. Because even my editing software, before it got deleted, it would just keep shutting off on me. Which was very annoying. So, um, there's that. I don't have a computer. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna get a computer. Um, just to be honest with you guys. The money I have saved up for just, um, the money I have saved up is for other things that I have planned. Um, I wasn't expecting my computer to die on me. So, I don't want to go ahead and use some of the money that I got to purchase a camera, I mean, a new computer, a laptop, because I feel like the mom guilt, I feel guilty that I'm just thinking about myself if I do that. So, um... I don't know when I'm going to have a computer or what's going to happen, but I'm just going to continue to make videos as best as I can because this is what I love to do. I basically like broke down crying when my computer did that and people, you know, somebody would be like, well, why are you crying over something material? Like, it's just a material object. And I'm not crying because of that. I'm crying because of the, the point, like, I wasn't expecting it. Um... And I love making videos. I'm not the greatest at them. I'm not consistent as I want to be. Um, and I was even looking forward to being more consistent. But then my computer. You know, just things happen at the worst times. But, um, what you call it? Um, you know, I, I basically like broke down crying because of the simple fact of, you know, it's just like, why? This is something I like doing. So why would it break, you know? But that's life I'm grateful for the roof over my head the clothes on my back um you know we have light we have water we have food my family's healthy those are the most important things but again when something like that you know just frustrates you and you're not prepared for it or you know whatever it, it I'm human so it gets to you so this video is gonna be a little choppy because it's my first video being recorded and edited on my phone. So I'm going to try my best. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how long I can go for as far as like how long my videos can be. Um, so that's why this video is going to be two parts. So just bear with me. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for continuing to be subscribed to me. Um, I am going to have a giveaway. Uh, I'll try to do it in the second part. Or if not in my next video. Um. I'm going to do a giveaway because I do have some stuff set aside for that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the Okay, video. so even though I'm like extra late, this right here was like $70. Um, but on Black Friday, I got it for $25. So I got this um, and I still need to fill them up and organize them and all that stuff but I thought that was a really good deal so here's one this one actually has um, pancake mix in it um, and it's really like sturdy it's airtight so yes and this one is huge but there's even a there's e an even bigger one which you can put like um, spaghetti in but really good quality acrylic not glass I love that so yeah and then I got that air fryer down there for Christmas, so I haven't opened it or used it yet, so we're going to use it. Um, and by the way, today's date is um, the 30th, so yeah. So um, I'm just going to show you, this is my kitchen, this is what you call a galley kitchen. Um, it's small, so this is my kitchen, yes. It's a, it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, Maybe to some people it's not, but to me it is. Um, so yeah, it's just, you know, like, books and planners up there, and it's just, like, so unorganized, which I'm not really liking. So my goal is just to show you guys, like, a clean with me, organize with me. Um, 
in a small galley kitchen. Just like a clean with me in a small galley kitchen. And yes, so. like I mentioned, um, my kitchen is small compared to like other people. Um, but I prefer it that way because I'm such like a clean freak that I feel like if I would have a bigger kitchen that I would like, I would go insane. Um, again, this is our first home, our first purchase. So eventually, um, I would like to get a bigger house. Um, not necessarily bigger, but like um, a more open floor plan, if that makes any sense. Um, whereas the kitchen is open into the, you know, the living room and the dining room, blah, blah, blah. But um, we're just going to like organize as much as we can. Like this right here, um, I just want to organize it a little bit better. I'm going to fill more up of those acrylic container thingies um, up here. Just like paper products and more stuff for like cakes and stuff that I just want to like organize. And there I got some plates that's pretty clean and organized. But since we moved in, I really haven't taken everything out, decluttered, clean and dust and all that stuff. So that's my goal um, between like today and tomorrow, you know, because I have two kids and can't really do things as please. And then like cups and stuff. And I don't even know why we have so much glass cups because we don't even drink out of them. But I guess for, you know, appealing to the eye and for when visitors come, I guess. Not even because you use like plastic and paper products when people come. But And then this is this area here. So I definitely want to like rearrange things, organize things, and just switch it out, dust it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to show you like some ways that I organize my kitchen just in case you have a small galley kitchen as well um, or an apartment kitchen or studio whatever um, just like some things I do to help me get the maximum space so yeah um, let's just go ahead and do it if I'm wearing a different color shirt and my hair is different I look different whatever it's just probably because this is like days recorded just a little FYI, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do it.
no. This, for the most part, is gonna basically stay like this. Um, so I have like all my beans there. Um, I'm gonna rearrange this up here and kind of. I think I'm gonna put those um, oats in one of the containers like this. Um, yeah, yeah. So unhealthy. I have so much unhealthy stuff, guys. I'm trying to change the way of eating in this house this year, even if it's just one step at a time. So. Look like popcorn and all that stuff. Oh my god, okay. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> so let me go ahead and just tidy this up a little bit. So I organized this cabinet as best as I can. So I just have everything kind of like categorized a little bit. Um, and see, I have, this is farina right there. Um, pancake mix. I put um, hot chocolate packets there. I put this in front um, because it kind of reached for that. A lot more um, and then I just left the oats in here because um, they're just they're just big containers so I left them there um, and you know I still need to get like some more tomato paste and tomato sauce and stuff so again I just kind of um, organized it to the best that I could so um, having a small space um, you basically just want to get like what you, ooh, sorry, like what you need. Um, you know, when when you go food shopping, just purchase like what you're gonna use in that week. Um, as far as like all these canned beans and stuff like that, um, I usually get them on sale, like buy one get one half off, or you know, really good cheap prices. So I just kind of like stock up on something like that, which you know, in my household we kind of use that almost every day, basically. Um, but yeah, basically my advice to you if you have small space is just get what you need. What I like to do is um, I like to budget and I like to plan out my meals as best as I can because it's a pain. Um, but as best as I can weekly and then I purchase what I need weekly. But things like, for instance, um, again like beans or like salt, ketchup, mayonnaise, you know, those type of condiments and those type of things you basically always have in your fridge or in your cabinet so you don't need to necessarily purchase that but basically like ingredients like if I'm gonna make like tacos then I'll need you know lettuce tomatoes um, you know maybe cheese onions whatever I feel like putting on the tacos then I'll write that down for my grocery list I typically try to go grocery shopping Fridays and some Saturdays and that's for my week so if I go Friday um, if I go Friday food shopping Friday then my my meal planning would start on Saturday you understand so I'll go Saturday and then I'll go and write something all the way till Friday we don't eat out um, if we eat out it's probably once a week the most twice um, and my reason for that is yes eating healthier eating better eating at home is better for you it's healthier you know what you're putting in your family's belly um, but it also saves you money, so I'd rather save money and cook, even though I don't like cooking, but I'd rather save money cooking um, instead of wasting it on food elsewhere, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so that's that. Um, again, this video might be like two parts or something because I'm doing this on my phone, so I don't know how much I can like edit and save on my phone, so just bear with me if this video is kind of like choppy, okay guys? 
All right, so this is underneath my sink. It is, hold on, let me move back. It's a little bit of a mess, so we're gonna organize it, okay? But I wanted to show you guys this up here. So uh, that is a shower rack. Um, and the reason I put that there is so I can go ahead and hang things up. And again, it just maximizes the space. So, you know, if you have any like sprays like this, for instance, boom, right? For breeze, boom. Windex, bada beam. You know what I mean? So, it just like gives you a little bit more space down here. Granted, here, um, I used to use this um, for when I was in the salon, but um, I fill it up with fabuloso. Fabuloso. I can't even talk. So this right here, fabuloso, like an all-purpose cleaner. You can mop with it, clean with it, blah, 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 whatever. Um, so I purchased this big old jug from Sam's. I think it was like five something. And um, saves me some money. And I just refill it and then just hang it up. But as you can see, I need to refill it. But besides everything else, I'm going to just kind of run through and organize. And see what I'm missing that I need to put here. Um, like any cleaning supplies or whatever so yeah Now that I made some room, I wanted to show you guys this little shelf thing right here. I did show in um, one of my Amazon home haul videos, which I'll leave down below so you can see. And I'll try and link it for you. Again, it just kind of maximized the space for me. So as you can see, it is a shelf. And then underneath, you have space. So underneath, I had um, like some gloves down there. And then this, I just got at, um, oh my god, look at all that dust and dog hair. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this I just got from um, the Dollar Tree, and I just cut it up. And that I just have to prevent, like, this from getting scratched as best as I can. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that is so dusty and embarrassing. I'm going to be using this. To um, clean, I don't have like organic cleaning supplies. Um, I do eventually want to start incorporating my own cleaning supplies and um, like making my own cleaning supplies and using organic ones, like maybe like even this Myers and stuff like stuff like that. So that's coming, but for now, we're just gonna wipe this down.
everything organized. Um, I turned on the kitchen light. It's gloomy outside today. See, so the lighting isn't the best, but see, everything is nice and organized back there. And I just put everything like items together. Um, over here, I have like my mop pads, the Swiffer dry pads, garbage bags. Um, there's even like extra space here. Um, and see, I filled this up. So just hang it like that. And then this one, just hang it like that. So what I like to do is just kind of separate them. That way there's not too much weight on one side. But you could basically like fill that up if you want. Because we know that shower curtains are very sturdy. So this is underneath my kitchen sink. I think I'm going to end the video here. Just so I can go ahead and um, edit this and put it up and see what's going on as far as like storage wise and the editing on my phone and and I did want to show you guys these I purchased these little things at Dollar Tree you can obviously get command strips they'll be a lot stronger and I just have like this mask right here but you can hang things up and that also saves you a lot of space you know using taking advantage of the door space as well so that's another thing so yeah so I'm just sitting here um, and yeah, that basically is just going to complete this video. I'm going to leave it here. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next part.